Well, hello my friends. How are you all doing? It is January 24th of 2020. I've been doing okay. I've been busy with all sorts of different things. However, here I am making a new video. I'm looking forward to this. This uh, video is about one man black metal. I've been wanting to do this video for quite a long time. So obviously one man black metal is not a genre of music. It is just simply black metal bands that have one member. So generally one man black metal bands would perform all the instruments, write all the music and lyrics. And uh, some of them, or some one man black metal bands do record, mix and master all their own music themselves. However, some of them do hire other people to do that for them. Some of the advantages of uh, being in a one man black metal band are that you have complete creative control, right? You don't have to have any input from other people. You can just decide on everything yourself. You don't have to deal with the stress of uh, other people. So that's very good, very nice, gives you a lot of freedom. Some of the disadvantages, I suppose, would be that it makes performing live more challenging. Although, of course, a lot of these one-man black metal bands don't, don't have any desire to perform live. So, so it's not really a big deal for them. However, for those one-man black metal bands that do decide to perform live, they can just use backing tracks. And also, some bands do hire other musicians in order to perform live. Some of the qualities of uh, these one-man black metal bands that I find is that as a one-man black metal band, you can definitely convey feelings of isolation, depression, and, and misanthropy much better as a one-man band. That's what I find personally compared to a full band. Those emotions definitely come through much more. One of the earliest examples of a one-man black metal band is Bathory. Everybody is familiar with Bathory. Bathory are part of that first wave of black metal. And considered by a lot of people to be that original black metal band. Bathory are obviously from uh, Sweden. Quarthin, he's the main member of the band. Bathory did, he did hire other people to, um, or he did collaborate with other people. So he's not, I suppose, technically a one-man black metal band. Although he did most of his music himself. Uh, so that's why I did not include him on this list that I'm about to present to you. Decided not to include him because, well... For that reason, he did hire other people. Anyhow, there are other very significant one-man black metal bands. Uh, some early, other early, very early one-man black metal bands would include Burzum, Arcanum, and uh, Taya K. All right, uh, so I got this uh, list here. I have 15 bands. I'm going to present these bands to you. It's just a short list, okay? It's, you know, 15 of the more essential bands. Obviously, there are hundreds, if not thousands, of one-man black metal bands out there. This is a very brief list, so I'm just going to go right through it. All right, so here, let's go. All right, so Burzum. Everybody is familiar with Burzum, okay? Burzum are from Norway, established in 1991. I don't know if he's still active or not. He is coming with a new album soon, so he, I, I suppose he is technically still active. Although he did say that he was splitting up, so it's a little bit of confusion right now. Of course, Vard Vikernes is the main member, or sole member, rather, of Burzum. Vard Vikernes is notorious for all sorts of things, murder, arson, and, and all that kind of stuff. Alright, so Burzum has released 13 full lengths, 1 EP, several demos, and uh, compilations as well. Alright, so that's Burzum. Next band is Arcanum. Arcanum are from a Swedish, or sorry, Sweden. Established in 1992, split up in 2018. The sole member of this band is a man named, hopefully I'm pronouncing this right, Shama Tay. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but uh, oh well. Nine full lengths, six EPs, and uh, some demos as well. So that's uh, Arcanum. Next band on the list is Zaster. Zaster are very well known within the uh, depressive suicidal black metal category. Zaster is from USA, California, established in 1995. He uh, split up in 2010. Well, see, he technically is still around, although he no, he no longer performs black metal. He does more of a dark folk type of music. And the member, or the main member of this band, or soul, soul member rather, is Malefic. So yeah, he uh, is still around and, and using the Zaster name, although he doesn't play black metal anymore, unfortunately. 
Okay, so Zaster has released nine full lengths, several demos, splits, EPs. He's released a lot of material. That's Zaster. Okay, next band is Krom, one of my personal favorites. I absolutely love Krom. Krom's from uh, the USA, Seattle, Washington, established in 1995. Apparently, he's still active, although he hasn't released an album in a long time. Main, the member of this band is Numenaz. Krom has released two full lengths, two demos, and one split. That's Krom. Phenomenal band. Okay, Vintera Kit. That is the next band on the list. Vintera Kit. They're from Germany, established in 1996. Still active. This sole member of this band is Christoph Ziegler. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. This Vinter Kit has 12 full lengths, several EPs, splits, and demos. All right. Vintera Kit, the next band on the list is Streeborg. I absolutely love Streeborg. Phenomenal band. Streeborg is from Tasmania. Established in 1997, still active. The member behind this project is a man named Sin Nana. He has 26 full lengths, lots of EPs and demos, lots and lots of material. Streeborg, phenomenal band. Passage de Vere. Passage de Vere are from Switzerland. Established in 1997, still active. The sole member behind this project is a man named Winter. Hopefully, I'm pronouncing that right. I'm probably not. Passage de Vere has 10 demos and four splits. All right, that's Passage de Vere. Next band is Satanic Warmaster. Satanic Warmaster are from Finland, established in 1998, still active. The sole member of this band is Werewolf. Satanic Master has six full lengths. EPs, demos, and live albums. Okay, Leviathan, another one of my favorite bands. I absolutely love Leviathan. Leviathan are from the USA, Portland, Oregon, established in 1998, still active. Leviathan is typically lumped in with the whole depressive, suicidal black metal category. The member behind this project is a man named Rest. Leviathan has six full lengths, several EPs, and lots of demos. Leviathan, phenomenal band. All right, Natafrost. Natafrost are from Norway, established in 2003, still active. The sole member is Natafrost. Natafrost is uh, well known as being one of the main members of a very well known band from uh, Norway known as Carpathian Forest. He does a lot of the, uh, the instruments and vocals with Carpathian Forest. Forest. Natafrost has released two full lengths, one EP and one split, so that's Natafrost. Okay, the next band on the list is the Ruins of Beverest. The Ruins of Beverest are from Germany, established in 2003, still active. The sole member is Alexander von Mielenwald. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, I'm probably not, oh well. The Ruins of Beverest have five full lengths, one EP, and three splits. Okay, Cold World, one of my personal favorite bands. I absolutely love Cold World. Phenomenal, phenomenal band. All right, Cold World is from Germany, established in 2005. Still very active. Cold World is typically part of that whole depressive, suicidal black metal category. The member behind this project is a man named George Borner. Cold World has two full lengths, four EPs, and one split. Cold World, all right. Next band is Woods of Desolation. The Woods of Desolation are from Australia, established in 2005, still active. The sole member is a man that simply goes by the name of D. Woods of Desolation have three full lengths, one EP, demos, and two splits. Panopticon, another one of my favorite bands, uh, phenomenal band. Panopticon is from the USA, Minnesota, originally from Kentucky. Panopticon has started in 2007, still active. Panopticon is typically uh, referred to as atmospheric black metal. Uh, they do combine elements of folk music as well, very interesting mix. The sole member is Austin Lunn. Panopticon have nine full lengths, one EP, and splits. Okay, the last band on the list is Mare Cognitum. Mare Cognitum are from the USA, Portland, Oregon. Established in 2011, still active. The sole member is Jacob Bukzarski. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, but uh, oh well. 
Mercadic tin have four full lengths and uh, two splits. All right, so that is my list of one man black metal bands. This is just some of the more essential bands. Obviously, there's so many other bands, or one man black metal bands that are out there. But uh, it's just a very brief list, a brief list to give you some idea of the some of the one man black metal bands that exist. So if you're not familiar with some of these bands, definitely check them out. Lots of great bands here. Obviously, I'm a huge fan of black metal. And I do play in a one-man black metal band myself called Ordo Ab Keo. You can check out some of my music on my YouTube channel as well as Bandcamp and other various sites. So I think that's just about it for this video. I'm going to give a few shout-outs uh, to my friend Chris Peters of the Music of Destruction channel. Definitely check out that channel. It's very good and there are lots of other interesting people that are part of that Music of Destruction crowd. All right, so that's about it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you learned some stuff and uh, hopefully you enjoyed watching it. You have yourselves a phenomenal day. Thank you very much. Cheers.